Hello everyone welcome to Gage How and in this tutorial we are going to talk about 30 mechanical engineering interview questions for freshers so let's quickly get started what is mechanical engineering it is the branch of engineering that deals with design analysis manufacturing and maintenance of mechanical systems what are the major branches of mechanical engineering thermodynamics fluid mechanics manufacturing material science robotics and machine design what are the types of loads acting on a beam so you can look at the figure for a better understanding there are different loads like point load uniformly distributed load udl or uniformly weighing load uvl and moment load what is hooke's law it states that stress is directly proportional to strain within the elastic limit that is sigma is equals to e into epsilon where e is the young's modulus so basically sigma stands for stress and epsilon stands for strain what is the difference between stress and strain stress is force upon area while strain is change in the length upon original length what is the first law of thermodynamics it states that energy cannot be created or destroyed but only be transformed so basically delta e q is equals to delta u plus delta w where delta q is nothing but the heat transferred while delta w is nothing but the work done and delta u stands for change in internal energy of the system what is the second law of thermodynamics entropy always increases in an isolated system and heat flows naturally from hot to cold regions what is bernoulli's theorem it states that the total energy in a steady incompressible flow remains constant and you might have already used bernoulli's theorem a lot for solving numericals the formula is pretty simple which states p plus half rho v square plus rho g h is equals to the latter part so where p stands for pressure energy half rho v square stands for kinetic energy per unit and rho g h stands for potential energy per unit volume so this is how you can use the bernoulli's theorem what is reynolds number very important question again it is nothing but a dimension less number indicating the flow regime means it indicates what type of flow is exactly there so it indicates whether the flow is laminar turbulent so how can we identify this again very simple if the reynolds number is less than 2000 the flow is laminar if the reynolds number is more than 4000 the flow is turbulent and here remember that reynolds number does not have any unit hence it is called as the dimensionless number and if you get this question in your interview remember they ask a tricky question that what is the unit of reynolds number so reynolds number is a unitless quantity that must be your answer what is cavitation in pumps it is the formation of vapor bubbles due to low pressure leading to damage in pumps so this is what happens and the bubbles collapse the vapor pressure increases in a way and then you can see the cavitation impacts the pumps or the impeller of the pumps what is cnc machining CNC that is computer numerical control machining uses programmed codes to automate machining operations what is the difference between annealing and hardening again a very important question annealing softens metals by slow cooling while hardening increases the hardness by rapid cooling so difference between softening and hardening comes into picture when we talk about annealing and hardening and remember this is again a tricky question which the interviewer might ask you what is the difference between casting and forging casting involves pouring molten metal into a mold while forging deforms metal under pressure what is an internal combustion engine or an ic engine it is a heat engine where combustion occurs inside a chamber such as petrol or diesel engines so as you all know ic engines are the heart of mechanical engineering 
what is the difference between a two stroke and a four stroke engine two stroke engines have one power stroke per revolution while four stroke engines have one per two revolutions so one power stroke per two revolutions is four stroke engine and one power stroke per revolution is a two stroke engine what is gd and t gd and t is geometric dimensioning and tolerancing which defines geometric tolerances for engineering drawings if you want to watch a video related to gd and t and its questions a video has already been posted make sure you watch that as well next question is what is factor of safety fos it is the ratio of ultimate strength to working stress ensuring safety in design but remember for brittle materials it is going to be ultimate strength by working stress meanwhile for ductile materials it is going to be yield strength upon working stress what is the function of a flywheel a flywheel stores rotational energy and maintains constant speed so that is the function of a flywheel what is the importance of 5s in industry 5s which stands for sort set in order shine standardize sustain improves workplace efficiency and organization what is pascal's law it states that pressure applied to an incompressible fluid is transmitted equally in all the directions so it is shown in the figure as well that is original force f1 is equals to p1 into a1 while the output force is f2 is equals to p2 into a2 which is actually 10x greater than the original force but the pressure is equal throughout therefore p1 will be equal to p2 what is the function of a governor it regulates engine speed by controlling fuel supply what is fatigue failure very important question again it is nothing but the progressive and localized structural damage due to the cyclic loading you can see in the image final failure the point is given fatigue zones points are given the origin where this all started has been also mentioned what is creep in materials creep is the slow and permanent deformation of a material under constant stress and the graph is again very important so which defines how a creep really occurs and the rupture point means from where the creep actually is going to take place what is the purpose of a bearing so bearings reduce friction and support rotating or moving parts there are a lot of questions about how to understand the nomenclature of bearing and from the nomenclature can you identify the real type of bearing so there are questions on that as well in the interview make sure you understand all of them correctly what is the difference between hydraulic and pneumatic systems so hydraulic systems use liquid while pneumatic systems use gas for motion control many students don't understand the basic of hydraulic and pneumatic so hydraulic itself states something related to water so remember hydraulic means liquid and pneumatic goes for gas what is a boiler a boiler is a device that converts water into steam for power generation or heating so there will be a lot of types that might be asked and you uh, should be able to explain each type and its working as well what is a supercharger a supercharger increases an engine's air intake using a mechanical drive what is the purpose of lubrication very important lubrication reduces friction prevents wear and cools the machine parts so that there is no heating of any element in the entire working what is a compressor a compressor increases the pressure of air or gas by reducing its volume what is a turbine a turbine converts fluid energy into mechanical energy to generate power what was the most exciting subject or topic during your studies do let me know in the comment section right now 
join 30 plus mechanical engineering courses with a lifetime access by subscribing to gauge how premium how to do it just go on the website gagehow.com and your work is done make sure to like comment share with your friends so that they also understand the important questions thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye